Hello and welcome to the first review of 2023. I am Lightning Collector 2021. My name is Rob and today we've got a small review of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Power Daggers. So these are obviously the daggers used by the Yellow Ranger. I have unboxed these and um, I'm wanting to just have a little look inside the box and they were such a pain to get out. I ended up ripping the box and I probably have to throw this away and I don't see there's any point in keeping it. So apologies for that but it comes in the box with all its normal like tissue paper and stuff because plastic free packaging apart from any tape that's been used. And this is the box. So on the front, we have got a near on full body of the Yellow Ranger looking pretty cool. Um, with our normal Lightning Collection logo, a little picture of the da daggers that we're gonna be getting inside and a bit of information on the front. It does say it's an 18 plus item. Probably wouldn't wanna buy these for your kids considering the price. So that's probably why they're sort of going at it, saying it's cosplay item or something like that. The box does tell us it has lights and sound, so that's pretty cool and exciting to be able to get into having a look at those. On the top, we do have our Lightning Collection logo, our Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo at the top, with a nice bit of uh, artwork on the side. On the back, it does show our power daggers that are connected, and then it shows them in the stand. Tells us it's got lights and iconic sound effects, motion reactive, it comes with a display stand. Has all our legal stuff on the back of the bottom of the box and on the bottom of the box. And inside the box, it comes with this nice little stand. So we have got our uh, Yellow Ranger coin in gold on the front. And then we've got our little stone looking um, stand which we've seen with the other weapons and then our little dagger holders which just slot in and out the top like that so that it comes unassembled in the box and then we just put them in there and that's that for a lot of this video i am going to have to show these daggers at the side so they fit in the camera this is our power dagger and it comes with lots of nice little detail on it but the the yellow does look very plasticky. Obviously it's plastic um, and I don't expect anything more or less. But at the bottom it does have our little connector which has got a button inside which activates a mode uh, for when they're connected together. It's got some nice little pattern work uh, around it with some legal stuff on the reverse. This is our power button so it turns on it on and off. And then a nice molded in uh, tiger coin. This looks like a button, but it's not, it doesn't do anything. Uh, and then our blades there. So one side of the blade is where it lights up. The other side is where it doesn't. The light does leak through, so you can kind of see it in the corners, but it is generally painted. And you can just see there where our speakers are. It does also come with movable fangs or whatever they are, um, part of the dagger. So you can rotate those one way only. Uh, which is that way, and it's the same on both. The daggers itself, they do come in uh, with three different modes. So we have our normal mode that will just turn it on. Gives us a nice light up, uh, and it doesn't stay lit. So it's just when you, it does that little uh, sort of thing to tell you that it's powered. It has a motion sound, which we know from the box and then like a contact sound and light. So if we press this by turning the dagger off, so it confirms by a little growl, just that it's turned off. And then if you do like a longer press to turn it on, see if I could do this in one go, it puts you on the second mode. See now, so we've got some music behind in the background, we've got a lot of, uh, roaring from the tiger, which does sound a little bit like a car. And it just has a couple of different sounds. Um, when you... There they are. So we've got some uh, little tiger sounds rather than just a uh, swoosh. So when you press a button, it brings it back to the normal mode and then you can just press it to turn it off again. These do have the display function like the blue uh, power lance, so you can hold it on and then when it will eventually turn it on, it will just stay lit up. So it won't do any, make any noises, it just makes like a display light. Um, and this is obviously all the same for both daggers. 
Then when we connect them together, this is the last mode that we have, uh, which is pretty much, um, we get a couple of different like swooshing sounds by the sounds of it. Like that, that's different. Um, and this will only do this when it's sort of connected together. And they do have the same uh, contact sounds there again. It's just more of the swoosh and the light that stays, um, that will kind of give you that different mode. And once you've got it in display mode, you can then uh, put it in your holder like so, and it displays nicely. So I should imagine if you uh, displayed that with your blue ones and powered up the red sword, that would look pretty nice all on display together. So getting to my final thoughts on the daggers, they are a nice little uh, cosplay item. They're not too heavy. They are a bit smaller than the power lance, uh, which you'd expect. The box is pretty big, which again, you'd expect due to the size of it. I did manage to get these a little bit cheaper. So they, I had uh, originally pre-ordered from Pulse like I do normally. Uh, and then when it came in stock, I got this from a website called The Whole Shebang. Uh, they're pretty active on social media and stuff and they seem to be getting quite a lot of the stuff in earlier than others at the moment so we've had two items from these guys that have not been released anywhere else just yet so these and the zap dragon sword these were 129 i believe with free postage or 129.99 one or the other um with free postage they were next day from dispatch the post stopped for christmas so they posted the next available date out, uh, which was Tuesday, and they arrived today, which was Wednesday, so that was really cool. I like the lights up on these. The sound seems a little bit quieter than some of the other items. The fact that they connect is pretty cool, and I should imagine a lot of the parts were reused from the Power Lance as well. I'm excited to get the axe and the bow, so they're the two left that we need, uh, and that will give us all five to be able to make our ultimate weapon. Uh, obviously we've got the dragon dagger as well so it's quite a little decent collection of weapons that they've given us so far and i've been happy with all of them i know the prices are high and it is unfortunate so this is what we've got so far of the power blaster so i've tried to set it up as best as i could uh, with the space that i had uh, so we're nearly there you can imagine how big it's going to be considering uh, this is my hand um, holding the sword, half of the power lance, and then obviously the new dagger. So it gives you a nice comparison of the items and just a bit of an imagination of how big this thing's gonna be. And as usual, I would definitely recommend waiting until these go on sale. The price point is high and you know that they're gonna be on sale. Uh, the power lance is at the moment down to, I think about half price on Zavi and about the same on In Demand Toys if you wanna check them out. Uh, it's a pretty good price. The whole shebang, I believe, have got the sword for 180 or 189. I think it's 189 or 180 something. Might be 182.99, but around that sort of price if you wanted to have a look at that. Other than that, I've got one other video that I'm planning at the moment. I'm just waiting for the other half of the item. There's two that are together. I've got one. I want to do them both in the same video. So just waiting on that to come through the post. Before I finish, just a congratulations to the winner of my Instagram giveaway. So congratulations to Jeff, that is on its way to him. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It will help me out and just uh, make me aware that you're watching and enjoying the content. And if not, I appreciate you checking out my video anyway. That is all from me for today. And I hope you all had a good new year. Happy 2023. And here's some more to come.